I'm fucking ready to rumble. First and foremost, I would like to extend a thank you to Odell Beckham Jr. for getting that touchdown. Yeah, if you listened to the Smokehouse uh, yesterday, Josh pleaded for Odell to get a TD, and he did, which he shouldn't have. He was down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I I, I believe he did get touched. Uh, they're trying to say he so, didn't get touched, uh, but I swear, I swear his foot got touched when he went down. You know, he looked down to he me. Down yeah, to he too. was down, boys. The fantasy gods were just looking out for you, Josh. Yeah, because I've been fucked so many times. <laughs> I mean, dry with lube, without. Yeah, it's all good, man. You hey, got to get reamed out every I mean, so I often. The fucking, I swear, I thought the Bengals were gonna win, bro. My fucking. I did too, bro. My pick was the Bengals. Too. We all picked the Bengals except Josh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Had to go. Had to ride with my boy Baker. God damn it! It's all right. Here it is. I know he scored 15 on your bench too, bro. I picked. Did, uh, I, I my boy uh, Nick Chubb went on. Who do y'all think I should start, man? Like, Stafford plays uh, Packers. Packers. Who Donnell o- plays uh, San Francisco. Who? Sam Darnold. I'd probably start. Don't play Darnold. And yeah, then Bri- start Matty, Matty Ice plays. Uh, oh, play Matty Ice. <laughs> the Cowboys. He'll get like yeah, 4, He'll get like 400 yards. I mean, Matty I Ice puts play, up yards, I wanna, bro. But I want to play Stafford because I know it's going to be a high fucking scoring game, dude. dude I'd say tough. Matty Ice or fucking uh, It kind of sucks having three quarterbacks, bro. Yeah, I would flip a coin between the mats. <laughs> dude, I picked up Mitch Trubisky at the end. That says a lot about Carson yeah, Wentz. Yeah, that's too. <laughs> Tyler Boyd went off. Fantasy wise, Tyler Boyd went off for me. He went off on my bench. Bro, Mitch put up some numbers. Ty Boyd? Oh, I played him. <clears throat> I have him in another league. Well, he's got Allen Robinson, the best. He's one of the best wide receivers out there. Yeah, but he plays for the Bears, so no one's ever gonna know that. Devin, it sounds like you need to come over on Wednesdays and do the smokehouse with us, bud. I guess I need to, huh? Smokehouse is a good time. Sounds like we'd have a good fucking conversation. I've been, I've been fucking trying to go, but I just fucking just don't forget. Just fucking hate Wednesdays us. don't good, don't hit for you. It's nah. it's definitely strange well, doing it on a Wednesday. It's it's strange doing it on a Wednesday either way. Yeah, I forgot. Makes a week fucking fly by because it's like quarter poor, day off podcast. Quarter well, poor podcast. Yeah. I missed out on all of them this week. Quarter poor was a hit. It's it was as good as always. Yeah, that was good, man. Our winners definitely fly by just because we have so much going on. Well, yeah. I'll definitely be there for this qu- or for Goonies on Monday because yeah, I'm pretty high. Oh yeah, Saints Raiders. Our new sponsor. Yeah, shout, shout out, out Goonies. Goonies. Need to print out a fucking Goonies ad. For real, bro. Goonies is tight. Goonies is tight. Best banker special in town, I'll tell you. What is banker special? It's like uh, like rice. I mean, you can just get it straight, but it's like rice. They got like a little little soy sauce in there, like mushrooms. Okay. Um, whatever meat you want. It's is just that, like a is it fried rice? Like, is it's, it's, it kind of yeah, like it chop be, chop? It steamed on, rice. Yeah, it could be on anything, honestly, but it's really good on like just steamed rice, honestly. Like one of my hungover go-tos is ordering to go from chop chop and getting just like beef and chicken with fried rice it's a fucking it's the sauces fuck. that make that, that, that Pacific good Dude, no i've yeah, never been i've to never I've ordered Pacific. a lot of food from there they're good it's like i feel like the chicken and shit and this can't like it's all canned meat ah uh, oh. josh you sound a little quiet in my ears bud um i, I sound go. quiet yeah, there you i'm go. just gonna do yeah, what i used to now. and put my lips right there yeah maybe that's how you gotta do it the, mic, the mics talk. uh the the windscreens are clean dude i've been i've been practicing you finally good san- them? I've been doing good it. sanitizing practices here in the Growler yeah, Pop Studios, dude. Yeah, I finally just washed dude. my mask, too. I can dude, I, it. it took me forever to wash my mask. Because I always was like, fuck, I, I don't want to leave home without my mask, and then I don't have a mask. Just so leave it I in just, the car. But I have, like, four masks, so I should have cycled them. But it, yeah, I just kept using the same one, and it smelled like donuts, because uh-huh. I ate donuts <laughs> one day. <laughs> That'd be funny. So, donuts and coffee? Donuts and coffee, legit, bro. Because every every morning I I drink you a coffee that, at work. Oh, I was gonna say you hit that Dunkin' out I, there on I fucking. I coughed into one of my. I, I I just recently started going to Dunkin' and they have the fucking unbeatable breakfast, man. For like a place that's quick. Do you hit the one out there on Whitaker or Lakeside, mm-hmm. or whatever it yep. is? You get those little fucking wake up wraps. Those things rip. No, I haven't got one of those. I got a maple. Like a dollar fifty. Maple croissant sandwich, bacon sandwich or whatever. Oh, nice. <sighs> That shit was fire. Does slap. Dude, I had breakfast from Starbucks today. That shit was pretty fire. They have some good shit, man. I always like their Delicious. banana nut bread. It was funny. So I pulled up. I, was, I ordered my coffee, and I was like, let me get a slice of banana nut bread. And he was mm. like, uh, we're out of banana nut bread. And I was like, all right, uh, let me get the pumpkin bread. And he's like, uh, let me see if we have that. And came back. He's like, 
we actually don't have any any bread right now and i was like well let me get a a turkey and egg cheese sandwich whatever he's like he's like damn man you stepped it up and i was like i'm pretty hungry and uh let's face it a piece of bread wasn't really gonna do the job he just started <laughs> laughing <laughs> That shit was fire, and it kept me pretty full until about two o'clock. Nope. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge. I don't need a lot of food for breakfast for me some either, reason. Man, I don't either. I'm never like hungry I, in the morning. I just eat like I. They actually at work in where you can buy food. They have banana nut bread like muffin, and I get one of those. Yeah, those rip. for breakfast, and that I, that keeps me full till lunch. I'd be hitting that toot and totem breakfast sometimes. Dude, the toot and totem special fucking banana nut muffin and a Red Bull. That shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll set you, especially when you're in a fucking hurry. Just yeah, grab, dude. grab that shit and f- take and, off. And oh, you're yeah, fucking get, good to go. I get a Red Bull every morning, man. If I don't get it, it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, I used to get a Red Bull every morning, too. I can't yeah. fuck with energy drinks like that no more. I'll drink, I'll drink a you're Bang a every boy? once in a while. Bangs are, yeah, bangs? I'm all about the coffee, man. Bangs are even bangs worse than Red Bull. Up. They'll light you up, though. The Bangs have 300 yeah. milligrams of caffeine in them. Bro, but I took a... God damn. I drank a Red Bull. Yeah. I drank a Bang one time before I streamed, bro, and I was like... So anxious, dude, like, they <laughs> fuck you up, bro. Dude, yeah, fucking you're like pretty cracked out, dude, like, pretty you're tense. Like, oh, fuck, 300 yeah. milligrams. I think that's the max that you. It's can It's all like the BCAAs, have. bro. I get you. Just pop like, yeah. just pop an Excedrin and some BC powder at the same time, <laughs> and then yeah, drink a coffee. Do a BC powder. Go, go, go shit your brains out, and then just fucking <laughs> be ready to go, loving your life. Oh, dude, heard of I stayed. Do what? Broncade. 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 Nah, like a bronco. No, no, no. It's like a. Um, That's what I pictured. It's like a sinus, <laughs> like a, a, a oh, like, antihistamine. Oh, it's like, oh, like bronchi- 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 It's basically like over the counter oh, speed. Oh. Over the yeah. counter speed? Where do we get that at? It's basically like it opens. It's supposed to open up the your nose. Yeah, it like dries out your fucking nasal, but it gets you like you going lit? full. All right. Yeah, it's kind of like taking co- some kind of cough medicine that gets you amped. That's, right, right, right. Like, that makes sense, man. That's what but I nothing like better than a what we need to What we need to find out is how to get prescribed. Um, Adderall inhalers. Oh yeah, and and inhalers. Yeah, you spray Adderall into your like lungs. Jesus. Someone just gotta, someone yeah. just gotta go take one for the team. And be like, yo, I got ADHD, bro. How about somebody gets that codeine syrup prescribed? Yeah, I definitely have ADHD. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll go, I'll go see if I can get up on that Adderall um, uh, inhaler. My bro. throat hurts. I can't they will take do it live yeah, on the I pod. Will, allegedly, I'll fucking kick up against the wall on a handstand and pop one upside down. Yeah, since air travels up. Right. Do a fucking squatted handstand on the table right here. Yeah, mid pod. Oh hell yeah, do that. I'll fucking do anything squat, you guys want me to. Desk. Get your fucking just... moose knuckle out. Oh. Yeah, man, I like to fu- fucking show off the moose knuckle and some I mean, jean dude, shorts. You got a big hoof. one, so I mean, can't blame you. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice yeah. hoof, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the hoof. I got that hoof game. Hoof, hoof, hoof. game strong. I've ever just said that. Like, yo, what's up? It's a nice hoof. Nice hoof. Just you got n- there, cause start playing off that uh. Cart like the, the male version of WAP. You just got a big ass hoof. B A H. Wet ass hoof. Wet ass hoof. <laughs> yeah. Got that wah. That wah. Do a fucking uh, weird owl parody of fucking wet ass pussy. Is yeah. there one? Did he do one? I no, think... I'm saying we should. <laughs> there, there's something out there like, that I'm someone's sure there is. Done. Is that boy still making records? <laughs> Yeah, sure what's up, dude? I looked that up. Is Weird, Weird, Weird Al still on the fucking scene, bro? Yeah, dude, because he does got some bangers. Because I bet he has some fucking hits, dude. Dude, he does. He, he does. Been, he's probably p- jamming at the touring the nation, doing bro, little clubs. Uh, the fucking Keep It Refrigerated, that song goes so hard. Oh, yeah. Also, the Trapped in the drive through Living in the Fridge. I'm living in the fridge. <laughs> that one fucking rips, dude. He's done making albums. Yeah, see, I knew he was, uh, I bet, that's what I said, he's probably going around the nation doing, like, little clubs. Oh, of course. In, like, his, in his fat nope. suit. Call every was that time. that your mom? We, yep. Every, bro, your mom literally calls every, every time, Friday. Every huh? Yeah. <laughs> every time we do a podcast, it's, like, eight, and I'm like, you should know this. She probably all Friday. sees us live, and she's like, oh, I'm going to see what Jesse's doing. Yeah, let me <laughs> see what he's up to. I mean, yeah, Since we've been doing live this on for a year, and it's the same with Lus. He always comes to watch the podcast, and I swear, every fucking time. Or he just texts me, are y'all live on the air right now, bro? It's 8-12. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. You know I'm, 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 I call my mom today, and she, she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, she's like, I'm, I'm on my way to pod. She's like, podcast? I'm like, bro, every fucking Friday. Yeah, yeah we've been doing this for over, oh my <laughs> God, mom. Must be an emergency, dude. 
Yeah, let me. Call. We might have to fucking. Oh. We might have to fucking pause on the pod for the first time. Nah, man, let her go. Let her. Let her. Let her be like, hey, Omar, we're on the podcast live. What's up? Yeah, see what she wants. As as they say on Seinfeld, how many emergencies could there really be in the world? Two, maybe. Yeah, at least two. If that's one of them. Uh, ooh. So. Uh, damn, bro. Damn. Speaking dude. of the world, I guess everybody in Amarillo has seen how foggy it is today. I, I, we were all assuming it's due to the fires in California. Yeah, it has to, has to be on, fire or city, or bro. I guess, guess isn't yeah. the word smoky, you know. It'd be looking like a Someone, hot box out there, man. California would be hot boxing the whole state. Someone's just out there getting fucking lit, dude. Yeah, the world's on fire, man. The world is on it. Yeah, that's a I don't know. Good metaphor there. I think that's scary. What's that? Nah, we'll be all right. It's scary nah, for the West Coast. I don't think it's scary. Yes. If I lived in California, I'd be scared. Yeah, it'd yeah. be kind of shitty there, but I it's crazy the whole thing there. right now. So that. They can't leave without a mask. They're quarantined. And then they can't go outside <laughs> because... I just saw what Jesse's mom said. <laughs> what would she say? saying, what's good? She said, sorry, son, nothing. Just seeing what you are up to. Uh, <laughs> like, call, call, call back to back like it's Yeah, urgent. back to back like it was an emergency. <laughs> like, oh. I didn't just ignore your call. Nothing, right. son. Nothing. Just see what you're up to, you know? Yeah. Well, Friday at 8 p.m. You, yeah. got, you got nothing going on, Exactly, right? man. Yo, what's up, Cole Keenan? My bad, Devin. What were you oh, saying? Oh, I was saying. So they're quarantined in their house because they can't leave because it's the virus. But then they don't want them to be quarantined because they need to evacuate. But they can't evacuate because this, the sky is pollution. Yeah, it's dangerous to air, breathe in. The air quality is too bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they've been wearing masks, so they're good. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, but the masks don't protect uh, against... Uh, toxic fumes. I know. Oof. But they do protect against. But the masks that do protect viruses. against toxic fumes don't protect against the virus. So you tell me. Huh? Sounds it's like all. the old catch twenty two. Huh? Sounds That's like sad, there's going to be a lot of people moving out of California. Which they already are. There. Like I've been yeah. saying, man, if a Fuck fart out. can get through my jeans, that virus can get through a mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> y'all see that fucking meme it's I posted long. today, dude? I'm living in 2056 brother are you what well, i i don't think that's like it was like a, a standing versus sitting oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just so woke the standing show. virus gets to you and sitting down it goes over you dude. yeah yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. it's like you're I fucking mean, that's set just, that's, that's, fucking, that's science dude that's like, yeah hey no one breathing you in your fucking face fucking you know what i'm saying only thing that sucks though is i get fucking crop dusted though like on the regs oh, oh, oh yeah that's true i probably do that to you a lot you oh, be sure, fucking ripping them you just chopping through some fucking some clouds, baby. I just get hit with some fucking toxic. Well, dude, I, I <laughs> got so, I'm so comfortable in my office now that I was just sitting by my friend and I just fucking farted out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, dude, what the fuck? And it, he's like, did you even check to see if it, if anybody is in here? And I'm like, oh, no, I oh. just I didn't even think about it. Just fucking ripped one. Yeah, it wasn't nice. too loud, though. Yeah, this dude that used to work with us named Lloyd, he was like a 50-year-old dude, bald guy. He looked like Mr. Yeah, Clean. Yeah, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The headphone, the headphones are fucking up again. It shit happened on Thursday. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a power surge, I think. Yeah. Uh, got got troubles. It, 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 it'd be I like I want to hear this story about Lloyd. Oh, about dog. my boy Lloyd. Yeah, yeah, he was like Mr. Clean. He was tight. Just a dirty old man. But he'd always look like... We'd be working in a classroom and be like just me and him and like the teacher would just be chilling in there on her desk. And that dude would just rip a monster ass fart, dude. And he'd, be, <laughs> he'd be like, Josh! Oh uh, my gosh! God damn it, Lloyd. Typical. Yeah, those old dudes are the fu- the fucking weirdest dudes. They're the funniest dudes to work with, but it's, sometimes man. it's awkward. I miss like, them. I remember the first time I went and worked with my dad. There was a whole bunch of old dudes working there. Not old. They're probably like thirty four or something. But I was, you know, younger. I was only like sixteen or seventeen. Yeah. Then some dude was like, "Oh man, I wish I was like you, man. Young, dumb, and full of cum." <laughs> <laughs> you know, they always have those yeah. fucking little bangers that they say to they every. Do, they have yeah. some, They have a banger for every situation. Just, just dad one liners. Yeah, just waiting no, to dude, leak it. Always, man. Yeah, they're waiting to drop that fucking new hot one liner. <laughs> they do, man. I miss Lloyd. He he was like my work dad. My boy Lloyd. What a name. He was what? Cool, yeah, man. that is a name. He was cool. He retired, man. Hey, hey, man. Oh, he's out there living the good life, huh? Lit. Lit. It pop back in. It's crazy how people, like, retire and then oh, go get another did. job somewhere else. I heard the pop with one right. earphone off. and now Yeah, mine, on. I can't hear mine. Yeah, it sounds awkward. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. I you, can hear mine now. Yeah, mine, here, dude. mine are. Yeah, mine are good. Maybe we just need. There must just something. be like a surge of static electricity under the table or something. Dude, I think so, but Dude, I can't. I, I can't maybe the PVC builds from. up fucking static. They probably. Shit, I, might, I don't know. 
built this basement on an Indian burial ground. Oh, of course. Dude, so my roof got redone uh, yesterday and the day before. And, like, the roof, the supervisor for the job asked if I had, like, uh, well, he was like, you have a furnace? Because I need to check the, like, the piping on that and the piping on the hot water heater. And I was like, I showed him and whatever. And he left. And he came back. He was like, wait a second. Where's the... Where's the fireplace at? And I was like, I don't have a fucking fireplace. And he was like, you have like a chimney exhaust on your roof. And I was like, huh. I was like, well, there it looks like there was a fireplace in the basement. I was like, but it's definitely not a fireplace anymore. Oh, right there. And he like came and looked at it, and he was like, yeah, this this is exactly where it goes. Oh, I was like, oh damn, that's fucking wild, dude. I, I was what? like, it it's, it's not a fireplace at all. Yeah. Underneath this, that, there's this, probably a body. This had to be a, like a fucking <coughs> weird fucking like living room or some shit back in the day. It's probably someone's room, homie. This is probably where Grandpa came down and drank his fucking beer and watched, seven. listened to the radio and shit. I mean, where that's pretty much in. what I do. I come down here and drink beer and listen to podcasts. We did yeah, that thing dropping, where you... We're dropping you, hella friends. He went over there Are and did we? that thing where you jack off whenever you have like a noose around your neck. See what the wife does. Oh, yeah. Uh, Erato's fixation. Yeah. What is that supposed to do? Just like the best huh. nut ever? Yeah, what? you're supposed to bust a really nice nut, I guess, because <laughs> you're, you know, it's kind of like edging or something, you know? Yeah, where you like, get close well, to like choking nut. yourself? Yeah, yeah you're choking all yourself. And then you just bust that. Yeah, nut. it's like that lightheaded, <laughs> that lightheaded <laughs> nut or butter. Bro. I don't get that shit. I don't get it either, dude. I don't think I would ever want to try it, but no, you never know. You always die when you do that. Yeah, people die a lot. Because they get to bust that heavenly nut, and then they and just like, slump, <laughs> but they fucking nod off, and then they just die. <laughs> yeah, you just die with your dick in your hand, which that's not a bad way to go, it's to not. be honest. It's not, it's not, dude. dude. That's it's a not. fucking... Yeah, if y'all, ever found, way me, to go if y'all ever found me dead like that, I expect laughs. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, <laughs> it's like, ha. We'll just not know you're... Not good. You ch- you're chasing that fucking one nut that was going to send you to heaven so hard. Oh, good now. You busted a nut so hard that you died, man. That's... That's the, the golden goose of busting yeah, nuts. Yeah, he's probably up there. That's the Lord's nuts, dream right there. Busting cream pies in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I look in the sky, I'm going to see a cream pie dripping down. That cloud kind of looks like Josh jacking off. <laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's still up there doing what he loved. Amen, Josh. <laughs> Amen, brothers. Yeah. Send one out there. So what y'all doing, man? Podcasting. You know what I'm doing, Josh? I'm thinking about going to Red Lobster to get me a fucking Dugarita, Dude, my do man. fucking... Oh, God. Let's tell the people about the Dugarita. If you have not fucking seen this thing yet... Oh, five to five. Beautiful. I uh, scored three runs. Red Lobster is... For some reason, Red yeah. Lobster yeah. is offering a specialty cocktail with Mountain Dew and tequila called the Dugarita. Sounds delicious. What's it called? Sounds a weird. Dugarita. Last place I would have ever thought that would have that. Drink. Yeah. Right. I saw it and I was like, what in the Taco Bell hell is this? Yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. I was like, Dugarita sounds like some Taco Bell Dugarita. shit. Dugarita. Yeah. I didn't even know Red Lobster had margarita. Margarita. Margaritas in the first place, let alone Mountain Dew. It'll pop up. There it is. There it is. Red Lobster releasing a Mountain Dew margarita. Dude. Debuts that, Mountain bro. Dew Margarita. Boy, that looks tasty. Bro, so the roofers left a fucking Yeti cooler of Mountain Dews in the front yard the, like after, after the first night. And I have some tequila in my freezer. And I, but did I'll, you keep the Yeti or they come back for it? I mean, I thought about stealing it. I would have. No, I'm a good guy. So. I know. I thought about... I mean, I just wanted to take one Mountain Dew and make a Dugarita, but it wouldn't that be the same, so bro. Good. Wouldn't be the same. We got to go to Red Lobster and get this motherfucker. I yeah, I haven't been to Red Lobster since I was like ten. Bro, so I've be... never been to Red Lobster. Does, Mar- does uh, Mountain Dew have caffeine in it? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, plenty of caffeine so, in there. So you can't put. Do we still have it. a Red Lobster here? Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. never been to Red Lobster. Bullshit, sure we do. And I can't yeah, eat there. Yeah, it's on fucking Access Road. Is it by hot, like where? Uh, Hibachi used to, or not Hibachi, but uh, Hayashi. Yeah, ah, same, yeah, same spot. There. Yeah, same it's spot. Still there. Something yeah. about seafood in the panhandle don't make sense, Jack. Yeah, that's it true doesn't. too. That's what one of my uncles told me. Is all you don't uh, you don't eat seafood unless you're near a body of water, dude. But for some reason, we have really good Asian food. Oh yeah, hell yeah, we do. Man. Well, that's different because they're not like they're importing like rice and shit. They're not importing fish from the sea we have from the rice. ocean. I mean, I'm, I Market. I can't eat seafood, but I hear like. You know, like Bangkok, Tokyo, they have great fucking seafood. Oh, they do. They have great seafood. Oh, yeah, bro. but that's like uh, like sushi style. Like, I'm not. I'm talking about eating, like, some fucking crab oh, legs God, and shit. You don't want to eat fish. no fish here in the... I like some fucking 
big mouth bass. From I the can ocean. vouch for all of these places that it gets overnighted from FedEx does from it? From, it, yeah. from Maine or from wherever. Oh, it does. New Hampshire, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, see, I always wondered how they went about it. Is, it I wonder if it's frozen. so. If, if you get sick from a place, it's because it a shipment came in late and it got Ooh. delivered. Late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Or it's just bad um, food man like food managing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they ordered it incorrectly it, and had to keep it over the weekend or it something. It comes in a big-ass, like, dry ice box <laughs> yeah. and shit, and it, it's always overnighted. Oh, okay. Is it always typically frozen? Always? Yeah. Always. You know what goes hard? Scallops. I mean, just dry ice. Like, it's fresh, but it's gonna, on dry I'm, ice. I, I never tried fresh. scallops. So good. It's the one you suck out of the shell, right? No, no. Nah, no scallops, like scallops look like little filet mignons. Yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah, they're so I've never good. tried. That's one. like clams and oysters you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, clams and oysters you suck Muscles. out of the show. Those are yeah, good. I've never those tried those. Muscles. That's, that's like a, uh, um, what's it called? What's that yeah. What's that shit an, called? An with aphrodisiac. Like, aphrodisiac. I'm glad I can't eat that It makes that you bullshit. horny. Yeah, fish supposedly they don't. Supposedly they don't taste like anything. Oh, the, you just put, the but muscles? You, but like they have like a, you know, but obviously, a, sucking dick. obviously a fishy yeah. taste, but you put like Tabasco and some lime on it and it. Yeah, that makes so sense. So you got to make the flavor. No, it's not like <laughs> sucking dick. I think, it, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like an aphrodisiac that, because like... I'm just talking shit. It's like... <laughs> There's something in there, bro. It's like caviar. Or it's like, you know, it's like... I think a, most, a lot of fish is an aphrodisiac. It's supposed to make you horny. Yeah, it makes you horny. It's not like because you're sucking makes you, Yeah, it's not because you smell like just the fish. Just get your endorphins going, poo- right? It triggers the pecker. But honestly, do like a <laughs> muscle or like a... Uh, <laughs> Those hoes are like, they're crazy, bro. They you know they just grow on like, <laughs> they grow on like a pier, a column, or they grow on like a um. What are those things called in the fucking ocean that float? Little coral reefs. Bo- buoys. Buoys. They grow, like yeah, they grow on buoys. Like it's like a. Oh weird. It's like a, sort of like a fungus type shit, but they Gross. just they just like, attach to like something that they can like. You just scrape them off the side of boats yeah. and you get boil them and then you I watched this, go. I watched this video on on YouTube, dude, <laughs> and they're Charlie. like these yeah. two Mexican dudes that had like a cooler in there. They were like floating on a cooler in just like a middle of a lake or ocean, and the they lake. would just like go down and they would just like dive down and pick up a fucking mussel and then pop it open, and they were just chilling in the middle of the fucking lake. It was it's wild, dude. I don't I would never that try it. Disgusting. I mean, I would try it, but. It just seems like you're about to get food poisoning quick or something, dude. Like, I try it at Papa Do's. I don't know about no fucking <laughs> lobsters. Papa Do's. Lobs- red that lobster. place is tight. I always forget about that Bro, shit. Bro, Papa Do's and Red Lobster are on the same plane. Bro, Papa Do's is way Papa better is than way better. Red yeah, Lobster. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah, I, I mean, Joe's I know Crab it's Shack? higher class, but it's just another fucking they chain. Are, yeah, yeah. Joe's it Crab is. Shack, basically. Yeah. Oh, Damn, fuck. did Joe Taco on that one, too, probably? Nah. I didn't even think about that. No? That's, a different, that's a different chain. Joe's Crab Shack, that was like a chain. Joe's Taco is owned by like uh, that's local. Joe's yeah, but that's like shop. by like a a rest like a restaurant management company. Joe Taco is. Yeah, I mean, it's local. He owns all of them. Macaroni, yeah, macaroni Joe's, Joe's, Joe Taco. Taco. What's uh, the other one? Uh, it's overall? it's gone. Paramount. It's Trader gone. Joe's. It's gone. Joe Daddy's. Joe yeah, Daddy's. Joe Daddy's. It's Joe gone. Daddy's. Yeah, they closed down a long time. Oh yeah, yeah dude, okay, it was just too big, so. bro. I so. Yeah, it was big, so they'd have to keep that motherfucker at capacity. No, he he one. he still owns a building. He uses it as uh, his kitchen for catering. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and that's pretty smart. Shit, yeah, I remember that one fool that worked there that was always fucked. They up. also do um, Justin Gordon. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he got fired for Anthony used to work there, too. He got not. fired and rehired four they times. They also <laughs> run um, for getting smacked in that his food truck that goes to kind of set it all, all the time. Or not all the time, but used to go. Um, fuck, I can't remember, man. Lone yeah. Star. Some, Lone Star. Oh, really? Yeah. Lone Star Street Food? Yeah, that's what they all. Joe, Joe also owns that. Really? Dude, mm-hmm. what was that other yeah, That boy, like, a mogul, huh? Do y'all remember seeing on Instagram? Sorry to interrupt, but did y'all, there was like a food truck thing, and it was like. Totally just a rip off of Yellow City. Yeah, Lone Star Street Food. Uh, okay, that's Lone the Star same Street one. Food, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, what happened to that? I think uh, it's still going. It's still going, but it the reason good. why it doesn't, the reason why it doesn't, I'm gonna name it, I won't name places, but the reason why it doesn't go there anymore is because they like emptied their fucking grease trap on the parking lot, oh. and it like stained the concrete. Where they do that at? Pondy, huh? Yeah, Pondicetta. Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh, that's a no-no. That is, that's a no-no and then, in um, general. They did that, and then, like, so they had, like, I mean, I'm sorry to, you know, fucking come out here on the... There's some people yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking tell the story. Good, but anyway, uh, they, the so they, dude, had, some, they had Sundays locked, bro. You know, so... And they did that. And uh, it was from, like, 2 to 7. And uh, 
they would just like not show up and then they would show up for like three hours and then leave because they're like well it's just not busy and it's just like bro it's like to me and me and the homie would always argue about it like yo we fucking post we used to post all Every single time when we had a food truck, I'd, I'd make a fucking schedule of the food trucks every Monday. Yeah, yeah. Remember, like, yo, these people are going to come, blah, blah. And then we'd post a video of the food or a picture of the food. And then we'd also post them and tag them. And it's like, bro, we're doing the publicity for them. If you want cu- your customers to come or what your regulars like, you also need to fucking promote yeah, too. Yeah, same shit. Hey, we're at Ponticetta. Come through. It's like so many, right. so many of these fucking. If your food's that good, the people come. So many of these exactly, food trucks. Yeah, dude. So many of these food trucks, like. Like barbecue revival and um, whatever, whatever. Like they couldn't, they they stopped because, like we had to like we had to like eighty six them because they would just like leave in the middle of the shift. It's like bro, we we make money. People come to get food also, for, but they also come to get food and then they get beer as well. Yeah, and then they want to get beer, but they want to get some food afterwards. If you don't show up, it's like we're losing business as well. But it's like there's, there's no people coming. Blah, blah blah. Like yeah, like promote, dude. Fucking promote, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. But yeah, they they empty their grease trap all over our fucking, and then like it stained the concrete, and then <clears throat> during the yeah, Bracho Fest or like the skateboarding fest, like some guy was supposed to come and clean it up, and he came and like power jetted it, but he was like, dude, it's just like too far gone. Yeah, it's too fucked. Yeah, Damn. if you pour hot grease out on concrete, like, yeah, that's a, you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to jet spray it and then get some fucking. Like a buffer we, or something. Like he power washed it with soap and chlorine and bleach, and it just didn't come out. And Caleb was Yeah, you can't put pissed. water on You can't put yeah. water on it. You got to clean it up with, like, sand. Well, it was just too yeah, far I gone. Get that kitty litter. Because, like, they noticed yeah, the day afterwards. Yeah. They noticed it the day afterwards. And that guy, shitty, the homie bro. didn't clean it up till like, three months later. Oh, wow. That's shitty, So man. it was already so soaked. It's just fucking you know, concrete on a curb is... in there, too. Concrete on a curb is real porous. It's not straight. Oh, dude. No, once it gets in there, in in Yeah, there. that seeps in, and then yeah. y- the sun beats down on it. It's just... Yeah. That yeah, becomes part of it. I got to work with a lot of oil-based paint. It's similar in that. That'll... Bro, food, the food trucks fucked us over plenty of times, My man. Hands are stained from that still shit. going on too. We still like we had like we had like one like a new company came out called Guilty Grubs and shit. Guilty Grubs, huh? What's and that all about? Is, they sound pretty far. Pretty they still far. around. <laughs> that sounds far. They make like chi- like chicken wing like wings, and they make like hot dogs, all right, I'm in. And burgers, oh, I love like a street good food basically. But like there's these two Mexican dudes that run it. But like and like what's what's like what's the benefit about being a food truck at? Upon a set and stuff is like you have a running tab, like not really a running tab, but you go up there and you ask for a fucking, you know, a draft of whatever they're gonna give it to you, and that's for that's just the trade off, homie. Yeah. Because we're not paying you to be there. Yeah, you're just there. You're making profit off the money. That's it. Yeah, it's like that's what Jesse said. Scra- scratching each other's back. So yeah, it's like clap, so clap, it's like clap, clap, clap. Clap. what happens we'll is like up. they would go there, and when you when we schedule these things, we're scheduling them. You know, we have a fucking strategy. It's like we'll have lunch, Pizza Nomad, and Pizza Nomad will come. Well, Pizza Nomad was locked in because they came every single time. They were reliable, and they yeah. would, you know, have and food. They got, they got the cult following. They would sell, they would sell yeah. five, six hours and still have food left over or whatever. Pizza but Nomad they, rips, man. Some, some places would come for like four or five hours, and then yeah, we need to get that sponsor. they'd leave yeah, like yeah, we do. within two. <laughs> Just all they the would food sell out of food, or they would leave with like two, and they'd be like, oh, oh we can't, uh, last minute, we can't come. Or they would just no call, no show, and it's like, dude, we're banking off those food sells for beer as well because people want to come and eat all we have is like pretzels and peanuts to sell like yeah exactly yeah people want some, uh, a little I bit more substance that. dude pizza nomad man I, I, it was like that nacho oh, cheese pizza they had oh yeah the, fucking a that thing dude, hit so what is that hard. joint called yeah like i forgot the, like the diablo pizza it just has cheese yeah, it has pork, fucking dude. queso on it yes. yeah yeah it's called like the um Bro, they got a, They have their own spot now, like an actual restaurant. Be, yeah, bro, we we go. gotta go. We gotta go in there one day for the pod, man. Them. Check them out. We do. I'm down. Get that sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? Get that young heartburn. Yeah, Liberty would hook us up, bro, for sure. Yeah, they're the fucking shit, dude. Shout out to Liberty, man. He he comes out to all the events. You we know, put Liberty on. went to like Italy and learned how to cook. Really? Made wood fired be- wood fired ah. pizzas. Excuse me. No wonder he kills it. So yeah, no hard. wonder that's so deli- dude. Yeah, like I he went and learned how to hard, do that dude. shit. Did he make that fucking oven too? Yeah, he tr- he 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 bought that trailer and and oh. fabricated all that shit himself. Yeah, that's that little up, that little dude. oven in that trailer is dope, man. Yeah, they Bro, still Liberty got the little food dope. truck. I'm or sure are they, they just do. doing the rest. How, how did they get away with that? Because I I thought there was a food like, license. Oh, okay. Because I always thought there was like some like law in Amarillo. Food truck license. No, that 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 shit got uh 
nixed in like 2007. It used to be oh, where okay. it, it used to be you could have a food truck, but everything would have to be prepared. Yeah, yeah, you at a restaurant. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So that's what they But then like the it, it got yeah. fu- it got the law changed. Yeah, it got hosed oh, because good, people were good. just coming out. That's but now it's like ball. now a lot of people are coming out with like mobile bars, but it's still you can't have a mobile liquor license. Shit, somebody somebody posted a Snapchat the other day and it was like a fucking beat the shit like old Chevy truck with spray paint on the side and it said mobile tattoo shop, nice clean work, just like straight like sixteen year old spray painted on the side <laughs> of the truck. Bro, I saw a nice I saw like a here? Nice, no, yeah, I don't know. It was on Snapchat, so it could have been here. But Dude, I saw a badass nice like Astro work. band that had nice like clean work. Dragon Ball Z hey. pictures of, like hand like hand drawn. Uh, it was badass. Just trying bro. to sling them. Nah, he was just like it was just like he was a Dragon Ball Z fan, but it was dope, bro. Yeah, that is. It was dope. all powder coated. I'll fuck, fuck with some Dragon Ball Z, man. I'm a Vegeta guy, so I'm fuck with me. me, Jesse, dude. Dude, I'll square off with you right right here right now. I see that you're double fisting, so you know what? I'm going to take you at your word. Double Jesse. Double well, I hate to say this, but I'm a little tipsy, fellas. <laughs> Let's see who's fucking stoked for the ground I am pod. too, dude. Yeah, that was it's such a that, that was a good post, bud. That Thanks, cracked, man. That one cracked me. That I was pretty it. funny, man. Yeah, I got a good laugh out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn. All Scooby Doo unmasking. The, yeah. the, that's a good meme, no matter what. Dude, that is a it hilarious. Is sure. I like how it's just yourself. <laughs> did you? Just, yeah. Did you just use that Mike McCarthy one that we? No, looked, I looked oh, up because I was like, let me do something with the uh, Scooby Doo, the same similar concept. And then I looked it up, and it just <laughs> had just you. It had one where it was like him and masking himself and i'm like how how could i make this work and i'll put i'll make all the pictures me yeah that's so good yeah because all the pictures were that one dude whatever his name is wow denver's in the lead nice yeah they're gonna win this game that's how it goes lakers will lose the first one and then we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna peep this game afterwards for sure oh yeah I've seen it it's gonna be much. beautiful i've seen this happen many many times you see all the flack and all the fucking heat Kawhi's taken dude Oh, he's actually getting some heat for oh, that. Oh, for sure, bro. Oh, wow. I thought he could they're do They're saying this wrong. is the, this is they're they're saying this is the, like one of his like most like um uh, like cutest chokes of his life. It, it was. It's going to haunt him forever and they're saying that Paul George is the next Dwight Howard and all this shit. <laughs> Dude, I hope so. Well, I mean, it's just Paul Steve, George is Obviously, done. it's just Stephen A. Smith fucking talking shit, but Yeah, but he ain't wrong. <laughs> they uh they choked it up hard. Yeah, I was not impressed with that. Yeah, they uh, performance. They they're saying that the, they're they're saying that the Clippers are fall, like breaking apart now. They're getting rid of Lou Williams for like Montreal oh. Harris and all this shit. Yeah, the the Clippers are actively trying to get rid of Lou Williams. Lou, Will- Lou Williams Why? is the guy that went He's to Magic shit. City, right? He can come to Dallas. Yeah, yeah. He can yeah. come play for the Dallas bench. He can come yeah. back to Philly. Dude, where he I saw this quote. I saw this quote <laughs> like from Lou Patrick. He's the only one I like, man. I saw this quote from Patrick Bev. It was like it was like to Steph Curry. It was like. Uh, the next five years are us, like our 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 my years, our years, and then Steph Curry was like, "Bro, aren't you like thirty one or something?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, cooked him. That's funny. I wonder though. how they're gonna be next year, man. I know this is not the sports pod. Dub. Well, it's funny because they're the biggest shit talkers, and then they got fucking Dude, bounced out by that Denver. That was the Gold best State? thing yeah. ever. No, no the clip- clippers. Oh, clips. Yeah, mm-hmm. clips. Yeah. All the motherfuckers were talking all big shit. Yeah, yeah. Pat Beverly little. that doesn't even fucking do anything. Pat yeah. Beverly in game five said at halftime, hope you got your clothes packed tonight because we're sending you home to, to the Nuggets. And they were like, oh, Said okay. that on the court to somebody. It's not back at to back. Halftime. Three to it's one, like, bro, three to on. one blows. Yeah. Well, did y'all yeah. see the shit after the Celtics lost to the Heat? How uh, they were Teammates are fighting. fighting in Marcus, the locker room. Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown got into f- it. Love to fucking see it. I hate the Celtics with a fucking somebody, burning passion. I, don't like, I don't really like Marcus Smart. Yeah, Marcus Smart sucks. Fuck the whole Celtics <laughs> organization. But yeah, it was like somebody, like a reporter posted some chick post on Twitter. It was like, it sounds like there was a bunch of clang, like banging coming from the Celtics <laughs> locker room. And some guy replied, was like, was Paul George out there trying to hit some shots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck yeah, I saw that. It sounds like there's banging from the yeah. Celtics locker room. And then yeah. like, Paul George a, up there getting shots off. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And then there was like a WNBA post and like some chick. Damn, hit, too old to the heat. She, that's drained, awesome. she drained a game winning three from the corner. And some guy replied, he's like, wow, she hits that shot better than Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, Paul George did not show up this he's just, playoff he's season. Just he's just, mentally that. He's just defeated, getting that man. money, bro. That's all it is. Money, bro. and he's men- he's just mentally defeated, just like Russell Westbrook. What do you think of him, man? I think he's a pussy. 
Who Russell Westbrook? Russell West, yeah. I, th- uh, I think he'll never win a championship. Yeah, he'll never win a championship. I don't think that fucking he doesn't have thing. the style of play that's gonna win him a championship. Yeah. He'll just be like no, Charles that, Barkley. That, that, uh, what's it called? That he uh, needs like two all stars to that win. That style of play. He's what's also it called? Too Lo- selfish. Low number yeah. or what's it called? A. Uh, he's good, but he's not. I don't know. know. Two man game or something that, that it doesn't work, bro. Yeah. Nope. Only if you have Anthony Davis. And yeah, LeBron. I could see him being like Carmelo, where he gets released and nobody wants to pick him up. Yeah, for sure. I just be- think his attitude is going to be the reason why. He it's get like, picked up. yeah, exactly. it's good to it's He's good to be like compassionate. Like diva. It's like Juan. Soto. But it's like, bro, like you're throwing everybody else off with what you're doing. Yeah, he it's throws like everybody y- under the bus. Yeah, it's too. like Yasiel. Yeah. It's like Yasiel Puig. You know, he was one of the top athletes coming from the Dominican Republic, and he played on the fucking I forget what team he played on Boston Red Sox, and they just dropped him or something because of his attitude. But he couldn't play. With, he couldn't play well with others. What exactly. up, Jordan? Welcome to the fucking G Pod. Hey, eighth F tattoo oh, in the fucking chat, up, baby. Boo? Our number one fucking friend. Jordan oh, is Jordan. number one. What's up, Jordan? Oh, he's on the Instagram live. Yeah, yeah. IG live. Yo, what up, J Riff? What up? What up? Big What's shout good? out to that boy Jordan. At shout 8th out to Avenue 8th Tattoo. Tattoo. That boy Vincent. Yeah, Josh just got a work. fucking piece on yeah, his Yeah, look at Josh's arm now, yeah, bro. Can y'all see my arm? It turned see out that, really good. See that man. work? See that work? That's that piece, buddy. Young Sacagawea. Yeah, she turned out to be a little Indian chick. Yeah. Looking looks, good, though, man. Good, yeah, looking good, Thanks, Every man. time. There's some hot Indians out there. Ah, uh, dude. Sure is. Sure is. <laughs> Native Americans. I don't know. They could drink me under the table. Yeah, dude. You guys are canceled. Yeah, we just got canceled. That's so fucked, bro. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of this studio, dude. <laughs> You're right, man. Sorry. I was, Later, fle- guys. I was busy flexing my privilege on accident. No, it's all good. You want to run ads real quick? Yeah. Uh, Sorry well, to interrupt. He said right. nads. <laughs> all we really got is fucking Anchor. You already know Anchor is the easiest way to start fucking podcasting, boys. It's free, and they provide all the tools to record and edit your podcast directly from your phone or your computer. (sighs) They distribute it to all (laughs) the platforms, including Apple, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, wherever you're getting it. YouTube, probably. I mean, we put it on YouTube, but I'm sure Anchor does it, too. Uh, The best part is you can make money from your pod with no minimum listenership. None. You get you can start a podcast today and you can still be getting that money. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is, man. So what are you waiting for, dude? Download that free Anchor app or go to Anchor.fm to get started. Also, please be sure to go to the Growler Pod's PayPal page and hit that donation button. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, Vin- sir. Vidmo.com <laughs> slash Growler Pod or whatever. If you need my cash app, please. Uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask. We are also sponsored by Yellow City Street Food, but they're closed this week. As you can see, we're just drinking random fucking beers, but... Got to shout you guys out always. Thank you for the endless love and support of this podcast. Appreciate you guys. Happy birthday to Scott. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Scott. Oh, happy, birthday. happy birthday to you. Happy they at Vegas or some shit? birthday to you. Yeah, Scott, where are uh, you? They're in Vegas, right? They're in Denver. Denver. Oh, that's nice, man. Rins, yeah. Rin's been posting My some videos baby. of some bougie-ass bathrooms. She's yeah, a, dude. Ren says she's there. a bathroom connoisseur. And she, uh, she Bro, have you ever been to their bathroom? At Yellow City? That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, they got nice bathrooms. They got bro. some mag- magazines to read. If, you, if you're an alien, you can go in there. got some cold cut stickers on the toilet. They, they have like a little toilet aliens. paper roll thingy. It's nice. it's nice, bro. Yeah, they keep it nice in there, bro. Probably a cold and they got actual there. toilet paper, yeah. not that fucking bullshit fucking... It's accessible, bro. They have that Charmin. Uh, oh, they got it, that Charmin Ultra. It's handicap accessible. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Nice, bro. I don't know why I just thought about this, but my buddy that was from Afghanistan... Uh, when he takes poops, he squats on the toilet seat, like he hovers squats over it. Like he so he's no, he stand, he puts his feet on the toilet seat Bullshit. and he squats down. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. That's how you're like, supposed like to the potty shit. squat. Believe it or yeah. not. Yeah. So his feet are on the toilet seat. He squats over yeah, yeah. the toilet and shits. That's just how. He Where's does he from? It. Afghanistan. Yeah, that's well, he's how from they Afghanistan. Do it. That's mm-hmm. how you're supposed to shit. That's how they, that's how they yeah. do it. Because you know, in Afghanistan, they have, they don't, they have like yeah, it's like in the ground where you go and yeah, yeah, you shit to like the sea or something, yeah. That's how yeah, it was yeah. uh, when I went to... The kimchi squat is what they call it. Kimchi squat. Kuala yeah. Lumpur, Malaysia. The, if you want to take a shit, you have to squat over a little hole. Yeah, exactly. It's like a t- it's still a toilet. It's like has plumbing and shit going through it. It's just a hole. But it's just yeah, like... It's not sitting down. It's just like on the ground. 
Like you have a place to put your feet and yeah, you just pull your, right you the, just drop trail. The kimchi squat. So it's a little more productive because <laughs> you can't pull your phone out and chill. Look yeah. up to, uh, toilets in Asian countries where it's on the floor. I feel hole. like we've looked this up before. Toilets on the floor in Asian countries. Have we not looked this up? I feel like we have. Is it true that in Australia? Mm, probably like a year the ago. Toilet flushes the other direction. It's for sure been a year ago. <laughs> yeah, because I remember Oops. Danny was bringing some shit up. See, it's just like that. Yeah, Dan. Just, it was Danny was fucking bringing this shit up. And you just squat there like a yeah. Bad you man. just squat over. Yeah, that's it where COVID takes starts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> motherfuckers washing their hands in there too. I just don't understand. Reaching in there oh, to dude, see if there's snake. Imagine just going in there. There's just a whole line of dudes just squatting. See, up. look. Wow. The kimchi squat. I want to see the one where it's like urinals. <laughs> right, like <laughs> take take your cursor to the left a little bit. Yeah, right that one. Yeah. Imagine getting on the toilet and shitting like that. I might try it later <laughs> and see what happens. That would be I'll so much break more goddamn fucking... embarrassing than fucking sitting in a stall. Bro, the squatty potty. I right? don't think I'll ever be embarrassed now sitting in a stall taking a dump again. The squatty potty, yeah, bro. bro. Squatty potty's just ergonomically correct. Oh, it just brings your feet up a little bit. That's yeah, it opens that. up your rec- your rectum. Yeah, there's does some, it really? Yeah, there's something about shit now. Yeah, we we, we all shit it the wrong up, way. Yeah, because it goes. Yeah, you're not supposed bent. to sit like that when you shit. Yeah, yeah all, your, like all your tubes are bent and shit when you sit like that. So when you sit up and down like that, it's like a. So it's pipe. better if your toilet's like lower to the ground. Yeah, uh, I basically, guess. yeah. Huh. Yeah, because yeah, when you when you shit regularly, you're putting like pressure on your your um what's it called a uh, your sphinct like your rectum sphincter. It's like a muscle. So when you put your feet up, it like alleviates the alleviates the tension. That's good to know. That's why you live in 2030 and shit in the urinal. Yeah, I'm see definitely the, getting a squatty potty though. The kimchi squat though. That's what people. That's what people do. Yo, Devin, see how much squatty potty is on Amazon right now, real quick. Yeah, Yo, man. Squatty potty. See, and then that's, and then <clears throat> order when order us four of them, bro. You know they do they, uh, do bay themselves with the kimchi squat with uh, over a pe- like some pool like a little pond. They go just like cats. I mean, that's that's a fucking joke, but <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled for that. But it's all good. Yeah, yeah it's you're all canceled good. For it, man, you're a winner. Just splash your butt a little Winners bit. Winners don't get canceled. I mean, bidets are real famous in other bidet, countries bidet, too. Bidet, bidets bidet. are hot, man. Steve-O was advertising one on his podcast. Yeah, let's see how much. Yeah, you just plug it into your, like where your toilet water runs. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, I might, might have to buy one of you guys. These for fucking Xmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. I'm down to lift my legs I mean, up hey, while I poop. Fifteen bucks. You know my Jewish ass gonna find the cheapest hey, one, man, baby. Man, I turned yeah, 30 in November. I need to shit better. Hey. Yeah, man, keep that uh, rectum healthy. I'm Dude, I'm, you know, I'm just looking out for my Yeah, look at that little dog one, bro. What? No, that's cool as fuck. Oh. They got a little poop one? What's yeah, that? A What's turf. a little poop Yeah, thing? what is that? It's a plunger. <laughs> oh, hey. How much is that? That's a cart, bro. Fifteen ninety nine. Anything, oh. anything that... Birthday's in November, guys. They get too artsy <laughs> with, dude. Those... Just, they Josh. usually suck. Like those, pl- that plunger probably sucks. All right, it's probably fuck terrible. This. Josh, fuck just this, fucking look. start you a wish list on Amazon, bud. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so much that ridiculous. Was a little shit. Step stool. Hey. Nine bucks. Fuck a squatty potty. Bro. Yeah, you just put your feet up on the little step stool, huh. bro. I just saved you fucking ten bucks, man. Hey, Come man. On. Maybe I'll, I want you guys to have the real deal. Or you just go get some two by fours and make your own little squatty look, potty. Check this out, bro. Yeah, make a Cowboys one. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, just fucking Google Squatty Potty DIY. Oh, man. I'm going Squatty Potty Dollar Gen. <laughs> Dollar, Dollar Gen General? Has one? I, fuck with, I fuck with the Dollar General, bro. Step I feel like I'm, I'm, feel like I'm, I'm Hey, isn't it funny that it's called Step Stool and Poop is called Stool? Look, oh, bro, <laughs> <laughs> Look, the stool softener right next to it, player. There, see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what, what, is, to be, what, is, baby. what is stool softener? It makes your poop like it's like a laxative, basically. Yeah, like if you're constipated or your stomach, your gallbladder's it's fucking like up a, somehow. It's like a diluted laxative. Yeah, it, it, it just up. helps your poop come out a little better. I was thinking that. Don't was take it. You just put on your stool and it makes your stool soft. Like not your shit, but the stool. They itself. suck, bro. I had to take them all the time when I was in rehab and shit. Like suck. Stool softeners. softeners. I remember one time me and Ryan Farrell put, Dual some, X, put some chocolate X-Lax and X-Lax in this girl's ice cream and y'all ever y'all ever had like a um, she dump herself oh yeah nice y'all ever had it, had to do an enema or like a uh, like a like a, douche. like a laxative cleanse nah Mario nah. my buddy Mario said he did that he said it felt good I Bro. feel like I should probably get a colonoscopy at this age not yet see what's cracking. No, nah, you're not old enough yet, but I mean, it would, it, would, it would help. You know, you never know what's going on. I just get warmed up, get used to it. So yeah, the dude. way they do in a colonoscopy, bro, you get a maybe fucking want, gallon, okay. of, you yeah, get a gallon like of water <laughs> with laxatives in it, and you, and you have to drink it all day, uh, and, just and just shit yourself, cleanse yourself out all day. So me being paralyzed, Oof. like, 
I can't feel when I got shit. So it was just bad. So I, I was in the bathroom for like eight hours, bro. Just post it up. I was for eight hours. Nigga, At least you got Nintendo. a TV in there. I, that's why I put yeah. my TV in there, bro. <laughs> Nigga, Is it really? Nintendo yeah. Switch, bro. Just I just put my TV chilling. in there and I was just chilling. On my, I had my phone charger in there, bro. I brought some snacks and like drinks and shit. Just big chilling, dude. <laughs> because I, I, wasn't, I wasn't about to sit in my fucking chair and play games and then... Like oh fuck shit my pants. Bro, you got a squatty party. Just put your whole setup. Nah, in your but I, what I do is I put my. I'm ch- getting all you guys. I put my. Please, I put my please. chair. I would really I, appreciate. I, it. I, you know, I sit on a chair. Yeah. And I put my my wheelchair in front of my chair and put my legs up. Oh nice. So you're already oh. looking out for yourself. Yeah, huh? dude. Because I got a fucking you know finger my asshole every time I play <laughs> this shit. Just put your whole. <laughs> just put your whole gaming computer in there. Right. Just bring my just your whole just live in there. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, here's my bedroom. Bring my, bring my futon <laughs> yeah. mattress, put it in my fucking shower. Put it, yeah, put it in the bathtub, bring a, <laughs> bring a microwave in there. Showing people Little around your house, like, oh yeah, this is my, this is my like, bedroom. Yeah, I got a fucking three-bedroom house, but I just live in my bathroom. I just, just live in the bathroom. Yeah, you're, got you're, three, I got three extra bedrooms. Your house is all bare, like there's nothing, but then your bathroom <laughs> just got all the shit in it. Right, that'd be sick, dude. Yeah, dude. That's like, the yeah, fucking the move right there. got posters in your bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Jer- right. Jerseys hung up. It's all decked Jer- out yeah. and shit. Fucking, he's got little LED lights around the like ceiling a and bong, shit. Like all your sh- all the paraphernalia. All my stuff in there. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah. We're, we're in Texas. We're not allowed to smoke. What well, if you like went to go get a colonoscopy it's a phase, and they're like, Josh. they're like, you're not, it's a phase. you don't need a colonoscopy. You're not that old. And you're like, ah, I just want to experiment. Like, no, I'm just try it out. Just let me see how it goes. It's good to get one, dude. Like, why do you why do you want a colonoscopy? Oh, just. Try new things. You know, <laughs> when I was when I first testing the waters. When I first got hurt, Just ready to experiment, man. Yeah. And when I first got hurt, and like after ICU, and I was in like actual spinal re- rehabilitation, like you know they pump you through a v- fucking like painkiller IVs, you know like all that shit. So you're, you get real constipated. Ooh. That's the bad thing about like opioids. They make you real super constipated. And uh, so I didn't shit for like eleven days, bro. Jesus. Still have so, like, IVs? I was constipated as fuck. So, they had to give me, like, a molasses enema, bro. And, like, when that I... That didn't sh- sound good. It wasn't, bro. <laughs> and, like, I couldn't get out of my... Ch- I couldn't get out of my bed because I was still, like, hella paralyzed. So, I just had to, like, sit on my, like, hip with my leg fucking hiked up. And, bro, I just shit out, like, <laughs> nothing but, like, fucking brown, like, liquid goo. It was the worst, oh, bro. Peed out your butt. Peed out my butt, man. Nice, oh, dude. gnarly. It was the worst, bro. It was the worst. But, like, bro, like, I swear to God, it, enemas are, they make you feel fucking hella good afterwards, bro. Well, I'm it's sure, man. Do, think man. about how much energy you use digesting. Like, right, you that's why they say fasting out. is real good for you because you kind of give your digestion system a break. Well, they say also you don't, you don't yeah. digest. So, say you have a meal tonight, you won't digest it for, like, up to 72 hours. I don't know. I take a lot of dookies. Yeah, but that's the shit that you see, ate last night in the yeah, day. See, I, under, I understand like people say that, but what's the deal with corn then? Well, you don't. We don't digest corn. We digest. We don't digest the husk, like the the shell of the corn. I don't understand how corn just goes. Right. I ate either. I, I, know, corn, I, don't, I, I ate corn in my Sharky's burrito an hour ago. Either. I guarantee I'll poop corn tonight. I don't understand that's, that either. That's me too. Like, yeah. if I, I don't if understand I eat hot that Cheetos, either because oh, tomorrow, yeah, tonight yeah, I'll chips. be shitting like red tomorrow. So you're right. You that's that's why I fire. never I never agree with that yeah, shit either. I never agree with that shit either. See, because I don't, it, corn is the only thing that makes me question the whole thing. Yeah. I almost spilled this I guess your body just knows what to pro. Has anyone spilled other than me yet? Still just me? Nope. Just you, player. Damn, dude. I'm you uh, curse yourself, man. Yeah, don't jinx I talk us. with my hands. Bro. Oh, because we don't digest. Yeah, that's how I always. We do. don't have enzymes that <sighs> can break down the compound called cellulose. Yeah. That's all corn is. So cellulose? that's why you. That's why the corn husk is the outer shell is always what you see. It's never the actual whole. Yeah, yeah, the little kernel. Sh- kernel. Oh, you see full kernels, dog. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. I don't understand it, man. I know y'all see corn in your shit. Yeah, it's a, it's the same. It's the same reason we don't. Kernel, bro. We don't eat grass corn. like uh, we don't eat grass like cows and cows. stuff, because cows have uh, three stomachs. Four, I thought. Well, not only that, like you Four. know, fuck. Where yeah, they got to make all that manudo, you know. What is that little thing that's <laughs> that's? It's basically at the end of the, your small, dish. your big, your large intestine. Gallbladder? No, it's that thing appendix? that's. Appendix. Yeah, the appendix is useless, right? Uh, Pretty much, so. it, it is like, useless. You it just like it. gets that, yeah. it just like rids more it's, like toxic waste. You don't need it. The appendix is like a leftover thing from when we did when we were able to digest uh, grass and shit like that. Cows have cows appendixes do work, but ours don't. We so evolved like past it, yeah, like we evolved 
beyond eating grass so we cook our fucking vegetables and you know so Unknown. basically it became useless so it kind of doesn't bacteria. work anymore imagine being the people back in the day day that had to like test all these like plants and shit to find out what was poisonous and what was <laughs> what's crazy about though if your appendix bursts it's fucking deadly yeah it fucks you up. yeah that's yeah, you what's fucking crazy and shit yeah because all those bad that bad that bile and shit mm-hmm. my stepdad's black appendix burst yeah, you got to get to the hospital right away if your appendix bursts. I'm always so worried that, like, one of these random pains is my appendix bursting. Nah, I think... And I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Just hold when it. you When your appendix it. bursts, I'm just, too, liver, I'm just too fucked up. I'm like, ah, even when it. it. Even before it bursts, it's like... Yeah, uh, what do they call it? It gets like swollen and shit. Like you can feel appendicitis? that. Appendicitis? Yeah, you get appendicitis before it bursts. Where's your appendix at? Left or right? It's on the right. Fuck me, I don't know. It's on the right, then I'm good, right. man. Because my left, my left is inflamed all don't the time. Don't quote me, but I just no. It's right at the end of your yeah. It's right at the end of your um, on the large right. intestine. Right here, it's right there, right by your colon. So I'm good. Yeah, so right. something on my left side's fucking me up. It's not my yeah, liver. your liver is cirrhosis, man. You're dying. Uh, <laughs> I take tumor. I take turmeric every day, so I'll be all right. Right. It's because you're a fucking alcoholic, bro. That turmeric's fucking it. It staves off the inflammation for a little while. Yeah, I take turmeric too. Look, look up that it's human anatomy, you. man. I take all my vitamins. I think that's gonna make me live for a long time. That's why we're fucking yeah, dude. Liver location player. We're gonna be all good. You said left side. The liver's on your back, bro. It's on my front. It's on your right side, cousin. So front. I'm good. So what is it? It's your stomach, spleen? bro. Your spleen, man. Yeah, maybe it's your spleen. What's the spleen do? It purifies your blood, I think. Oh, uh, so I'm done. I'm done. It, it, I put it removes toxins as well. So I have fucking blood cancer. I'm done, dude. Nice. Might as well, man. A little leukemia. Let's see. Let's read it. Go ahead. It fights evading germs in the blood. Has It contains infection-fighting white blood cells. Oh, that's right. It's part it of the immune system. It controls the level of blood cells. It filters the blood and removes any old or damaged blood cells. Well, Something you know what, Aubrey. man? Let's I, have, get Aubrey on the phone, I haven't been sick since I was fucking 16, so it's all good. So you're good, bro. It's probably your gallbladder, man. Nah, I've been having flu-like symptoms all day today, so. Oh, but. fuck. Should I be wearing my nice. mask? <laughs> no, I'm just I kidding. took care of you two sick motherfuckers that didn't get sick. That should say enough. I know. So when we got sick as me, fuck bro. that one time. When we had the coronavirus? Yeah, I guess. My in December. Right <laughs> yeah, it's your that fucking was... spleen, bro. It burns right now as we speak. That's weird. It's burned for like five years. I though. think a lot of it becomes Just mental too, burn, though. How long burn. has it been since y'all got an annual wellness checkup? Yesterday. Last January. <laughs> okay, not, cool. Not this January, the Tuesday. January before. Tuesday for me. Uh, when I broke my ribs. Okay, cool. I do get annual checkups though, but every time they're just like everything's good. Yeah, yeah. Before that yeah, though, doctor I, I hadn't been to a doctor yeah. in like se- seven years. Do you get did when you went to your annual checkup? Did you get lab work done? Yeah. Fuck. I did too. And bro, my doctor said my my liver's completely healthy. Yeah, and she, bro. she was like, "How often do you drink?" And I said, "Every, every day." Every day. 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 And she was like, "Like one drink a day?" I was like, "No." Nah. Well, did she say beer or did she say liquor? No, she was like, "How how often do you drink?" I was like, "I I have a few beers every day." And she was like, "Like every day, seven days a week." I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Do you go hard every day? Like, do you get drunk every day?" And I was just like, <laughs> eh, "Most days." And what? she was just like, "Well, your liver is completely healthy, so I I can't really like say anything it's about cr- about your lifestyle." There goes my headphones. It's crazy it's how... My, it's my cord, bro. I just stepped on it. No, what oh, it is... That's what no, it is. No, bro. My dad's, my dad's fucking drink Coors Light. My cord's never hung down. That's my, dra- my dad's drink Coors Light since he was 16 and dip since he was 13. And that fool, every time he goes to the doctor, he's like, bro, you're healthy as a horse. So, no. Yeah. He's like, it's worse. It's probably worse eating sandwiches every day than drinking fucking beer. Yeah, my, my fucking... My yeah, your my diet's school. a big part. My stepdad, rest in peace... Drank a thirty pack every fucking day, and died from fucking lymphoma. Yeah, yeah. That's so strange. Either you got Random, it or you randomly, don't. randomly. Yeah, that a lot of it's genetics, man. You yeah. get a bad so roll fuck of that dice. Bullshit, bro. Sorry, I didn't take any notes this time. I'm, my apologies. Yeah, good dude. You don't take notes every time, so <laughs> you're fucking <laughs> out of your mind. Oh <laughs> uh, lord. Nope. Watch, watch my fucking Twitch stream, baby. I fucking roast you all day. Yo, yeah, that's fucked up. It, bro. <laughs> uh, Wait, bro. No, nah, I've only roasted you like two times. Like last week, I was 
Last week you did pretty good. The week before that it was like two notes, and I was I know I was like I legit took two. I was notes like, God damn it, today. fucking Devin didn't look you're shit part, up. You're just part of the podcast today. Like it's all good. You're, you're on the on the mic. Today. When you fucking take notes, it I edit the podcast in like twenty minutes. Not that my Twitch streams interesting. Oh, so now it's I an hour. Just, I should have stopped doing it. No. Hey, bro, chill the fuck nah, out. Nah, that's what it's all all about is consistency. It's not gonna happen overnight. People Bro, following you're you. Gonna, the only time you're ever gonna be get, the only time you're ever gonna hurt yourself, back to the fucking fit type shit, oh, fuck. is if you fucking drink a fifth a day and don't do shit. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's what you I know asked what Aubrey. Made from water. I asked Aubrey like, Good. are my kidneys gonna shut down if I drink like a lot? And he's like, dude, like the people that get like cirrhosis of the liver and all yeah. that shit, they drink a handle of vodka every day. Yeah, and it's like like McCormick. every day. Nasty yeah, shit. they drink like, like. 30 beers a day They're like non-stop like they cannot function without drinking they have to drink all they have to be drunk yeah, all the time exactly. all day yeah. wake up like those oh, fuck i need a drink yeah those are the people that die like from cirrhosis of the liver well, like, i mean look look at garth man they do drink pounds probably like a 12 to a 30 pack a day Coors original and that dude's healthy as fuck yeah that boy chilling that yeah and i know people that have he's <laughs> a, good genetic, a pack so. a day for their whole life and don't have no fucking look, emphasis but also nothing. if you're fucking drinking all that beer and you're working and you're like eating somewhat you're healthy doing some probably taking taking some vitamins too like you're gonna be all right for the most part it just depends though man like you said, genetic, so, man. It's just like some people smoke all their life and they never get cancer, and some people smoke for five years of their life and they Bro, get cancer. Yeah. Physical, Dude, my mom physical, never did anything it and she got cancer and died. Physical yeah, exactly. exercise exactly. is one of the most beneficial Same things. Same with Jared's dad. Yeah, my mom didn't drink, smoke, Exactly. Nuts. Same with Jared's fucking grandpa, too. Yeah. I mean, Jared's dad drank beer like we drank beer, but he died for... From some random fucking bullshit cancer. Yeah, same with my. Yeah, Quit. That's, it was yeah, like that's blood terrible. cancer. Exactly, or some shit. bro. Exactly. So uh, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's uh, fucked, man. It like, just happens, dude. That's why you, you gotta know that life is so precious, that, like, man. Enjoy very, it, man. But yeah, but do you think that like very you can precious. develop a cancer if you don't already have it by doing bad shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah like it. you can. Uh, that's why like a lot of that's why they have a list of carcinogens, especially like asbestos, like. They don't let you do that anymore because it fucks up your lungs. Dude, yeah, that lungs. shit fucks you up. And then, I mean, just certain shit can lead to cell mutation. Of course, radiation. If you're, like, people at Pantex, I think, get cancer a lot of times. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah the radiation. Yeah. The suicide yeah. rate for employees at Pantex is, like, really high. Yeah, I'm Because sure. of what? The fucking uh, utonium? Or what's it just called? a lot what's of that? things. Uranium? Uranium. The uranium. shit that you, you can't Justin, talk about. Justin, didn't things. you have to sign some shit when you, work, when you started working there? Yeah, I had to do a whole, like, And you worked at Pantex? Thing. Yeah, with Jerry. That's right, fired. that's right. I fell asleep and got fired. That's right. I, mean, I wasn't even mad. I was Damn, like, bro, that's a fucking... You got a streak of falling asleep at the job, <laughs> homie. Yeah. <laughs> that job was so boring. Concrete Lounge? That job was so stupid. Were you able to play on... You can't even have your phone, or could you? <laughs> no, you got to turn wow. your phone in. No, nah, we could have our phones before. For what Josh Oh, you were doing, doing laundry, yeah, though, right? Chilling. I was just, yeah, like, yeah. chilling in the laundry room and just posted up with Jared all day. <laughs> Damn, that job fucking so smoked him, stupid. Bro. <laughs> bro, one time Jerry was like, fucking <laughs> Josh keeps falling asleep. I'm <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> pull it up, Jerry. Because that job sucked, bro. And then I got fired. Because you got... had to be there. You had to be at Pentex at 6, right? So yeah, you had to wake had up to at like fucking 4.30. Like, you had to wear a uniform? Yeah. The fuck? It sucked, dude. But like, no, fuck working, then, I got, baby. then I got a job that was twice as good as that job. Yo, so what's up on them puppies? Yeah, now Josh. They still coming Josh's around? Big chills. What puppies? Them dogs you posted on your fucking ground. Oh, the puppies. They the still puppies. coming around or are they gone now? No, oh, no, they're still over there. They live across the street from Paladero High School. Bet. Little Brindle Pitbull. So does Paladero have a fence around the whole campus they now? They do. They, yeah, they fence the whole bit. The whole joint. But what about the, Tascosa? But dude, it's pointless because all you got to do is put, your hand, through the, put your hand through the gate and push the gate and it opens. <laughs> What about Tascosa? They might. What about Caprock? I think there's. Is is Caprock's Caprock's way too big. Did you know Caprock? They're talking about doing it though, but I don't call it. It was supposed to be a college. Yeah, that's that's how they started fucking um, the ACE program, whatever that shit was called. Caprock was supposed to be a college. I didn't know that. You know, Caprock's one of the only fucking campuses that has a 
uh, one of those types of scholarships where you can they do have like everything. trading Caprock and, and all of that. Yeah, they have everything yeah. at Caprock. Caprock's, Caprock's actually, a great high school. Caprock, yeah, 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 Caprock is one of the better schools. I mean, Caprock's for sure. number one, yeah. baby. Longhorn yeah. for life. You got to understand, you know Caprock's going to be a six A school, or if they yeah, ever have seven A, cool because Caprock has the room to expand, and no nowhere else does. No, no, no one does. Yeah. Emerald yeah. High does not have Hell room to no, expand. They, they I finally drove by and saw like the expansion they're making on the gym and shit. Like, yeah. You, did you know they're getting rid of three A, three A minor league or three A baseball? Yeah, Capra. Triple A, triple A. Are they really? Mm-hmm. I th- Damn, I'm sure so the sod poodles are that more valuable now, huh? Well, most scouts draft out of two A champions, baby, or double A, whatever. We the are fuck champions, called. and we breed champions, Fernando. So they're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna liquidate know, all the triple A to double A. Padres. Damn, crazy. The Padres are our team. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot harder to play in the. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder. That's cool, though. Well, it's going to be a lot more. The players going to be a lot more valuable, too. Yeah, they'll get better players that way, too. Did you get you a fucking Tatis jersey yet, Devin? No, man, I haven't yet, bro. It'll be a cool uh, one. You got to rep your boy. I'm thinking about getting a Paddock jersey, man. Like a Paddock what? Yeah, that's why I want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> a Chris, it's Chris Paddock, but yeah, yeah, because the watch. Is it spelled the same way? Paddock. No, no, no. no. P- P-A-D-D-L-C-K. P-A-T-E-K. All right, boys. It's been an hour, so what, you, what yeah, y'all trying to do? I want to go watch the Lakers. Lakers up 15. Yeah, Nuggets. we about to go watch this Lake show. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Well, look at that score, 60 to 45. Is it? Oof. The, is it even halftime yet? No, it's four minutes till halftime, player. Oh Oof. goodness. So oh, what, who no. y'all calling? Lakers? Lakers dude, in four or what? I had the Lakers in five because I thought Lakers yeah. in five. It was the first game. But the gen- I, gentleman sweep. If the Lakers win tonight, it's a sweep. You think so? Yes. 100%. You think the Nuggets are just tired, or do you think the Lakers are just a I better think the team? Nuggets are very tired no, the, the Nuggets Lakers have to be team. gas. I think the Nuggets are gas, and the Lakers are a better team. Like, a, I thought the that, Nuggets were going to get gas against the Clippers. You think that Luka MVP? I think he I damn think, sure I could have. I think LeBron should have got it. You think LeBron? LeBron, LeBron James should have got it, because it's his 17th season. That didn't deserve season. that bullshit. No, Dude, Giannis I think, is... I don't like... Yeah. I, I just think they should start making the MVP go... They should wait till the finals is over, and then announce it. Me too. It because, dude... A lot of players change. There's gonna the be. Playoffs. There's gonna be. A, is, like gonna, is there? Is there a playoffs MVP or is it just finals MVP? Uh, finals, finals MVP. Finals, finals, is, I yeah. think it's, but more, it's more important than any of the awards. They're gonna do a bubble MVP too. Oh wow! For this year. Oh, that's Booker? gonna go. That's gonna go to Booker, <laughs> Dame, or yeah. Booker, so, Dame. It for sure is. It's uh, a team, but yeah, I understand Giannis getting the regular season MVP, yeah, but right, it doesn't right. mean shit. It doesn't, dude. Yeah. Cause we I, don't, I didn't hear he nothing collapsed. about Giannis. Because so. you're not it, – it just – it like it, it doesn't fit right now because we we just saw him get his ass whooped. Yeah, but the exactly. thing is like – They yeah, should have announced the MVP before the playoffs started. Everybody. Yeah, that's that's right. You're right. Because, listen, regular season MVP is all good and, and, and all that, but – Realistically, you're not the most valuable player because you're you not. you weren't even good enough to get your team. Yeah, exactly. Your, your team got basically yes. fucking swept. So yeah, in the tr- in the true sense of the world, the word, he's not the most valuable player this he's year. Not. Yeah. It's not, not even it's close. Because I think if you take LeBron off the Lakers, even with their whole squad and AD, they're like Bro, they're LeBron they're like a third be, seed, four LeBron seed. LeBron should be considered as like. All, all time. He is the greatest. I mean, we've, player. we've seen LeBron take the garbage fucking teams to the finals. Yeah. I mean, he and Giannis couldn't even do it with the cast. Dude, LeBron did it when he was 22 with the Goskis and uh, Berja. I mean, fucking LeBron made LeBron made about. a Caruso a living legend. Yeah, he sure as fuck did. The Eagle. <laughs> he is though. He's and Caruso was legend. a nobody from the Aggies player. Like, come on. He played G League for the Lakers. Over. LeBron, I do like think it's hilarious though. LeBron does get a lot of turnovers, and he he just bricks free throws. It's like he just doesn't. He's just like free throws good? are hard, man. They I, are, but it's I just can funny. Fucking LeBron, back LeBron up on that one. But it's just funny that hard. LeBron of all people misses so many. Yeah, before we before we head out though, let's listen to this real quick. Are you about to play Taco Tuesday? No, no, no. Taco I'm about to play the. Uh, well, I love LeBron James. Y'all can. That'll be a thing There it is. I'm about to play this. I love that man, LeBron. I'm very inspired by that boy. It won't go up. Oh, yeah. I love him. 
Oh, that's, it, it just repeats. He's wearing all his <laughs> champion. He's wearing all his championship rings. Toronto, shut the fuck up. Kawhi on the way. I love how people are always oh, like, man. everybody's always like, oh, three and six, three and six. Like, boy, your favorite player is probably zero and zero. <laughs> my favorite. Players. My favorite players ain't no play on the bubble. <laughs> Dude, that almost I almost dropped one at the very end. I caught it though. The boy's got hit. Yeah, he's yeah, fucking a perfect. Play for the one day I'll get redeemed, dude. You Until will. then. I'll just keep wishing. All right, it's time for the pick. No. It's All right. time <laughs> for the end. All right. Thanks for tuning in to episode 78. Hit the growlerpod.com. Thank you again bum, to Yellow bum, City bum. Street Food, to 8th Avenue Tattoo, to Goonies. Uh, Goonies, our newest sponsor. And as always, thank you to Anchor for keeping us rolling. Thank you tonight to Lone Star keep Beer, rolling, rolling, Michelob rolling, Ultra, rolling, rolling. Curse Heavy, Curse Light. That's it, baby. Episode 79 on the way. Tune in next week, baby. Peace.